A couple in Lehigh with some new ties to Ukrainians has started a movement to wrap Ukraine with quilts. As news specialist Jed Bull shows us, quilts are already on their way to Poland to be given to Ukrainian children. Yeah, exactly, Dini. The project is called Wrap Ukraine quilts and that's exactly what they plan to do the couple tells me that that a quilt is so much more than a blanket because it always comes with a story and with connection there's nothing like wrapping yourself in a beautiful quilt gina halliday is a longtime quilter there's always a story behind the quilt and i think as a quilt maker you're thinking about that person that you're making the quilt for as you're stitching it. The people making these quilts know they will soon be wrapped around Ukrainian children. A Ukrainian refugee who wants to be seen and loved and, a wrap, and wrapped in a quilt. Bike shop. Their Ukrainian connection began in August when her husband, Hal, yes. went on a cycling trip in Ukraine. A chance meeting led Hal to Lviv, where he put on leadership workshops. This is Lviv, this is us. His relationship with the Ukrainians was mainly professional, but when Russia invaded, it became personal. Natalia, a woman from the workshop, reached out. She started sending me pictures of her family, and that she was going to try and flee Ukraine. Soon, Natalia and her kids were at the border. She and a friend took these kids and left their husbands to stay and fight. Hal and Gina were stunned. We looked at that photo and just thought, these kids have nothing. What can we do for them? They believe quilts warm the soul as much as the body. As much as military aid and, and food and water and shelter, they also want to know that they're being seen and they, the, their existence matters to the world. This one's from California, Missouri. They put together a website and put out a call for quilts. I had a quilt guild up in Logan, Utah, who made 20 quilts in one day, and they said, we've got 30 more on the way. Um, and that's just how quilters are. Already receiving more than 500, Hal is headed to Poland to hand deliver the first 120. The quilt makers will even know when they arrive. We wanted to find a way for it to connect quilter, quilt donors with the people that are receiving the quilt. So they pinned a QR code on each quilt. Scan this barcode. The recipient scans it and connects with the quilt maker. If they want to connect through Facebook or social or emails, they can. Now it's more than quilts, it's also connecting people around the world, and that's really important. They're accepting quilts and donations at their website, wrapukrainewithquilts.com.